there is definitely try there is um there's what he says during the game he says that during the gingerbread house he says you know monday i hold on any say what say what you um you're talking about with that while i go look for this cause. um the in the side yard where one of the places where you can get caught by him after wendy shows up because he no he notices you're kind of gone um there's um a shovel and a hole in the ground and there if you look in the bathtub it looks like there's possibly blood in the bottom of it yeah there's, i remember that I there's saw that. things like that and I think there's clothes on the ground. I'm not sure I'm, if I'm remembering correct. I think there's either clothes on the ground or there's clothes in a concentrated place. Children's clothes, to be specific. Um, there, there were just things like that that kind of made you assume that when he does, um, at the end of the game, murder all the children, that he does actually... He's, he done, he's done it before. You found what you were looking for? Um, I'm... Okay, I found the diary. Do you want me to go through the diary? Yeah, you probably should. Alright. Sunday, June 1st, clear skies. Today, I weeded the fields. Work went well. Monday, June 2nd, clear skies. Today, I weeded the fields. Work went well. Tuesday, June 3rd, cloudy. Weeding again. Tomorrow, I'm thinking of taking my son Joshua with me out to the field. Wednesday, June 4th, clear skies. Today, I weeded the fields. Work went well. Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, what, June 5th, rain in the afternoon, we did the field, Joshua wasn't feeling well, so I worked the fields alone, as always, Friday, June 6th, clear skies, work went, today, I weeded the field, work went well, Saturday, June 7th, rainy, weeding, weeding again, tomorrow morning, I'll go to town to sell peas, so tonight, I must make preparations, a busy day indeed. Sunday, June 8th, clear sky. I went to the market and sold peas and carrots. I hope to be able to feed Joshua something nutritious, but sales were not good, so I will not. I was not able to buy much. Monday, June 9th, clear skies. Today I weeded the fields. Work went well. <sighs> Tuesday, June 10th, clear sky. He went and ate sweets out of the cupboard without permission. Wednesday, June 10th, lies. 11th, June 11th, <laughs> says 10th, cloudy, weeding the fields again, it was cold today, I'll g have to give Joshua a blanket so he won't be cold. Um, I don't like this guide because it's saying Wednesday, June 10th, whenever ten June 10th was Tuesday, and Wednesday, June 12th, I... I know. <laughs> uh, Thursday, June 12th. Joshua went is under the weather. He had a slight fever, so I fed him some hot pea soup. Friday, June thirteenth, clear skies. Today I weeded the fields. Work went well. Saturday, June fourteenth, cloudy. Planted peas in the ground. Saturday, June fifteenth, rainy. I spent the day in my room drawing a picture book for Joshua. I'm sure he'll enjoy this one. Monday, June sixteenth, cloudy. I cleaned out the barn. Joshua told me he liked my latest story. Nothing pleases me more than to see my son happy. Tuesday, tu yeah, Tuesday, June sixteenth, cloudy. The barn cleaning again. I've been neglecting the fields, so they're in a bit of a mess. I've I must drive the insects and mice away. Hold on, pause right there. Think about that. If he was, if the pe if the fields are going on. Kempt, why would that be? He's cleaning the barn, but... He's possibly depressed. He's possibly taking care yeah. of Joshua. Because he's so sick, he's possibly taking care of Joshua more. Because if he's at the barn, the barn is closer than the field. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. Alright. Wednesday, June 18th. It's clear skies. I did weeding today. The weather was beautiful. A great w a day to work the fields. Well, it also was cloudy, so... Yeah. So it could have been raining, too. June 19th, clear skies. More weeding. I wanted to take Joshua out into the fields, but his coughs are getting wor were getting worse, so I had him stay in bed. Friday, June 20th, clear skies. Today I weeded the fields. 
Saturday, June 21st, clear skies, planted peas in the ground. Sunday, June 22nd, cloudy. I thought of a good idea for a story. I'm going to take a day off from the fields and concentrate on, re on refining it. Monday, June 23rd, clear skies. I did weeding today. Joshua told me he liked my latest story. There's nothing that I like, see, I like more than seeing his beaming happy face. Tuesday, June 24th, clear skies. Weeding again. It feels great to work the fields on a fine day. And the last three entries, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, June 25th, June 26th, June 27th, are today I weeded the fields. Work went well. So you can assume somewhere in there that he died. Now I have found what I was really looking for. Okay. Um, it's where Gregory is saying, Gregory's doing all the narration during the uh, gingerbread chapter. Right. Where he's basically saying, stray dog walks the street each, to e each day, collecting the peas as he walks to and fro. Big peas, little peas, every which kind of pea. Come Monday, he finds a pea. Come Tuesday, he bags the pea. Come Wednesday, he shows the pea to his son. Come Thursday, the pea kicks and screams. Come Friday, he grinds up the pea. Come Saturday, he buries the pea outside. The pea is in the ground. By Sunday, it can't be found. Good night, young pea. Good night, young pea. Yeah, there you go. Last, yeah, last time I checked, the actual he doesn't kick and scream. Yeah. So, we can assume that he's kidnapping kids off the streets and killing them. Probably to be a playmate for Joshua, and when they kick and scream to go home, he kills them. Mm -hmm. That yeah, could be possibly that it. You know, maybe that's how Win maybe Win maybe that's how Wendy knows where he is. Maybe... Or she is, because she noticed, maybe, and followed him one day. You don't know, really. Mm -hmm. That, because that would explain how Wendy knows how to get there. Yeah. Is either a, she was kidnapped before, and she somehow got away. Or she followed him once, when he had taken another child. And didn't yeah. find the other child, but maybe Jennifer? Maybe? Probably. That, that's but another theory. There's also a, uh, I remember there being an article. It's somewhere in Rule of Rose, I don't remember where it is, but there's an article that says something about children going missing. Yeah, that's in the gingerbread house. Yeah, there's an article where children are going missing. So that's, it being in the gingerbread house just makes it even more clear that Gregory is killing children. Now, it, uh, why are we hammering this in? It's because it puts it in perspective how he could have done the whole stray dog thing. Yes. Because he did because write the stray dog story. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Jennifer probably told it to the children. She could have. She very well could have. Especially since, you know, she lived it. Yeah. Since oh, right wait, wait, wait. Weren't they referring to Wendy when in the book where uh Oh what's the what's the book? Stray right? Dog and the Lying Princess? Yes. I thought they were referring to Wendy in that They are, but that's storyline purposes. Yeah. That all those books are most for the most part storyline purpose full. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Gregory actually he wrote books for Joshua, and he probably wrote the Stray Dog book. The book about Stray Dog. Uh, Stray Dog so kidnaps he, kids he, who have been naughty and do not clean. You know? So was he actually writing about what was going on, or did he start doing it after Joshua died? His writings probably had nothing to do with what was going on. They just used that as a representation that Jennifer could make sense in her head because it was so deformed and messed up because of all that had happened. What we're talking about is completely unrelated to the story books in the game. Yeah. Okay. Now, the since we've hammered Gregory to the ground, <laughs> yeah, are we going to move on to somebody else? Um, 
we should probably move back into Jennifer and kind of keep going and see who we hit next. Probably it'll be Wendy we talk about next, though. I think. Yeah, probably will, because I've... From Kuhn-san, he everybody seems to think Wendy is a really nice person. Somebody she these is people, not. Yeah, these people. She's they, a horrible, they horrible her person. For being she got everybody killed essentially because she was jealous. Wait, 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 wait. wait did, just wait. Did she bring Gregory to? Yes. Her? Okay. Okay. Let's Whoa, start at where, the beginning. Where, where, oh, no, no, no. We're gonna start at the beginning. We're gonna start at. <laughs> Wendy's beginning after yeah. she met after she met Jennifer because that's where it all started. Her meeting Jennifer 